It was great to be home and spend some time with Chloe and visit some family, but it's also great to be back because the snow is stacking up and uh, I'm not gonna lie, it was a little hard to watch everybody get out there and get after it while I was in Ontario. There's not much for snowmobiling there. They were supposed to get a huge dump of snow here last night, so we'll get back to town. Hopefully, the highway might be closed. But uh, we'll get back, and hopefully we can go for an afternoon, ri afternoon ride. It's 11 o'clock now. All right, let's go see what we find up there. I think it's gonna be pretty good. I know it's only been uh, like, what, four days off the snowmobile, six, five days? But I feel like I forget how to ride it. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm on the trail now. Uh, where should we go? All right, we're off trail. We're definitely wind affected in here, but it's gonna be neat. I've been road to snow this bottomless in so long. Oh. Had a bit of an issue. <laughs> a bit of an issue. It's flat ground here. What's the issue? You're on a turbo. Yeah. Jordan is on his 165 850 from last year because uh, his 9R is still down. So the snow's not like champagne powder, like we've had a decent amount of this year. It's a little more dense, but man, <laughs> is it ever deep. This isn't even where it's deep. This is like a shallow area. <laughs> We're trying to climb here. Sucks. He was helping me out. I'm just standing here changing GoPro batteries. <laughs> Sorry. This thing sounds kind of funny. I don't know, 
делать? I was driving 82 I saw earlier, now I am not, not seeing that. ridiculous I blame the sled though yep planted downhill again I think Hugo is stuck downhill up there and now we'll just wait for Jordan to get stuck <laughs> That was the wrong, <laughs> that was the wrong call. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy. It's not too often I just throw my snowmobile to get past something, but I thought it might work for me in this case. Almost got there, but we have a bit of a situation now. I didn't do very well. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did the Yugo move? <laughs> the worse. <laughs> downhill trenches but there's something wrong with this sled for sure I don't know what <laughs> I'm standing in my trench right here. Yeah, just standing. This is downhill to my snowmobile. Like I said before, we're not even somewhere where it's deep and it's freaking deep. Uh, if the sun comes out tomorrow, oh my God, is it gonna be nice up here. And another stuck, another stuck. And Hugo's stuck somewhere over there. Flat ground, nice, nice, nice. <laughs> I don't even know if it looks that deep in the camera, but man. 
Like this is probably the most bottomless snow I've ever ridden. Close to it. It's been a long time since we've had snow like this. stuck just to put it in perspective we haven't even gone a kilometer from the trail <laughs> and we're downhill stuck again <laughs> this is ridiculous my sled just pointed straight up and down It. Oh yeah. Oh barely. Oh <laughs> right into the next tree. It's just gonna pin her to winter. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh no. And <laughs> now he's stuck. Oh <laughs> turbo just keeps chewing. <laughs> be a short video for you guys today just some stuck action and uh, yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> yeah I hate to do this to you guys but I think I might need your hand oh <laughs> Three, two, one. And I'm about to dust. There's all these questions asking me what headlamp I use. It's a Mountain Lab uh, 1800. It's the brightest one. It's nice and bright. Battery life isn't great, but that's what you get for bright. I did not see that. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Another one! <laughs> Guys, I'll trench out in front of me. Uh, that's my ski there, you know, that might hurt. <sighs> I think Hugo's stuck. <laughs> yeah, I bet it did. No. <laughs> Ready, Hugo? <laughs> We're so close to the cabin that there's not really any tracks through any of this today. People probably couldn't cover too much ground here at the cabin. Let's see how much snow they got. Oh, up to eight feet. Should probably be more like nine, because uh, somebody had to shovel out around that stick quite a bit. 
They get me unstuck on my flat ground stuck and then I just leave them. Yeah, I need assistance. I can't go anywhere. <laughs> and I just got off track and can't get anywhere. Like I didn't do anything just now and I got stuck about 40 feet away from where I was. As you guys could see, today or yesterday was quite the struggle. Today we'll be taking out the Polaris, which you'll be seeing tomorrow. This is kind of confusing doing this the day after, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and get the Skidoo to the shop. I feel like it might be the fuel pump needs replaced. I don't really know. So yeah, we're gonna see how we make out on the Polaris. I even thought about taking the 146 out just cause it'd be pretty entertaining. But as always, thanks for watching.